Okay, today we'll uh, discuss zero memory source. One minute. Okay, now you can say slide is visible or not. Slide is visible to you? Am I audible? Shall I start now? Okay. Now zero memory source. A zero memory information source. Yes is a source that emits a symbols from an alphabet. S1, S2 up to SQ. Okay, one minute, one minute. Hello, now mic was muted, now I think it is audible to you people, I will start now, okay, screen is visible to you, am I audible, okay, A zero memory, information source, read it once, yes is a source that emits a symbol from an alphabet, S1, S2, up to SQ with the probabilities P1, P2 up to PQ respectively where the symbols emitted are statistically independent. So please try to understand a zero memory source and statistically independent. I hope this you can understand easily. S1 probability is P1, S2 probability is P2, SQ probability is uh, PQ. PPT is not, okay, one minute. PPT is not visible. Okay, one minute. Thank you. Uh, I didn't present. One minute. Okay. Screen is visible now. Okay. So now, just read it once. I'll pause for a few seconds. Read this, a zero memory information source, S is so source that emits a symbol from an alphabet, S1, S2 up to SQ with the probabilities P1, PQ up to PQ. The meaning is S1 probability is P1, S2 probability is P2, SQ probability is PQ. Now, it is the average information per message, entropy, what you are going to discuss now. The meaning of entropy is, it is the average information per message. In uh, any practical communication system, we usually transmit a long sequence of symbols. We do not transmit only a single symbol. We send so many symbols. So we want an average information rather than a information of particular symbol. So thus, we would be interested in average information that a source produces than the information content of a single message. So now, for that we are going to write an equation. Uh, average information content of a symbol in a long independent sequence. Okay, some students may get a, a doubt. What is the meaning of long independent sequences? Try to understand. In the previous class, we have discussed the two examples. One is a tossing a coin. And second is a... Second example was... Can you type? Tossing a coin. One more is... We are not revising anything, what you are doing, cards, oh, always everybody is remembering cards. Okay, dice, dice, somebody wrote, very good. See, in the dice and uh, this tossing a coin. For example, now I have thrown the coin, I toss the coin, I got a head. Next time, whatever is going to come, it doesn't depend upon a previous result. Even dice, somebody is throwing, now previously I got two. What I am going to get? That doesn't depend on the previous what I got. So we call it as an independent. That is the meaning of independent. It doesn't depend upon the previous result what you got. That is the one line which you have to understand. Now, this is very simple. You are tossing a coin 10 times. How many times you may get a head? How many times you may get a tail? As all of us know, it is a 50%. So approximately, how many times I may get a head when I throw 10 times? Type in the chart, 10 times I am throwing the coin, tossing the coin. How many times I may get a head? Probability, 10 times. Probability, uh, 
they were as 10 times will get head only rohit fayu abhay fayu rohan fayu okay siddharth fayu devidas prithviraj all are telling fayu yeah see the information is given to you people here what is that the probability is half they have mentioned means 10 times if you are tossing a coin 50% will get a head 50% will get a tail so take another simple example how many times say i am throwing this particular symbols i am generating a and b now probabilities are not equal say let us consider a probability is 1 by 256 hey listen here b probability is 255 by 256 let us consider 256 times i am generating the symbol how many a i will get can you tell now out of 256 how many a symbols i will get if i throw 256 time how many a i will get how many b will get for example here i'll get ha huh, yes many are telling the answer 1 1 1 1 correct now use the same concept try to understand this let us consider so alpha beta have a yes equal to s1 and s2 these are the symbols i have probabilities are p1 and p2 suppose that during a long period of transmission a sequence of n symbols have been generated n may be 10 20 in general i take a n on an average s1 will occur how many times on an average s2 will occur how many times just now i ask when i throwing a to uh, i'm tossing the coin all of you told 10 times if i do i'll get a five five like that so using the same concept i want you people to fill here something copy down this fast i'll give a minute or two somebody wrote uh, n by 2 chaitra j see i have not told it is a equiprobable remember when both are equiprobable by 2 will come when i am not telling equiprobable see when it is a half automatically if it is a 10 times 10 by 2 i'll get 5 only when both are equiprobable now p1 and p2 are not 1 by 2 1 by 2 i have not given value of p1 and p2 some p1 Value is there. P two is having some. For example, in the previous case, one value was two by one by two fifty six. Another was two fifty five by two fifty six. Like that, in general, I have taken P one is the probability for S one. P two is the probability for S two. Now, use your common sense. I want you people to fill on an average. S one will occur how many times? On an average, S two will occur how many times? Rahul is writing something P one by n. Charan is writing n into p1. Charan wrote n into p1. Very good. How you wrote Charan? Can you type or tell? You can unmute and tell. Anybody else want to tell? You can just unmute and tell the answer, or you can write in the chat box. Okay, Charan. Good. Loudly, repeat it. Probability is normal in fractions. Yes, probability is in always fraction. And when I add P one and P two, what will be the answer? Let me know how many will answer this. I repeat the question. If I add P one and P two, what will be the answer? one yes at least you should have this common sense whenever we add all the probabilities the answer will be equal to one now use your common sense now what i have to fill on an average yes one will occur how many times write your answer fast in the chat box let it be wrong no problem let it be wrong i want you people to fill this because it is very simple I can tell and I can go ahead, but uh, I want you people to use your brain. Write down here something and tell that. Uh, type in the chat box. It may be right or wrong. No problem. Your answer is important for me. See how you found when I say I am 
tossing the coin 10 times how many times i'll get a head how you told p1 was how much that time what was the p2 value tossing the coin probabilities of p1 was how much p2 was how much both are half how many times i have thrown 10 times i have thrown the toss or i toss the coin see half into 10 times i'll get a 5 and 5 now what is the answer i have to write here what i have to type here fast correct what you are telling is correct i want you people to write the answer here something on an average s1 locker dash times use the same half when it both are p1 by 2 how comes p1 by 2 p1 into n saujanya is writing p1 by 2 into n sumit is writing pragati is writing p1 into n good you are using your brain whether right or wrong all of you are using your brain i'm happy karthik is writing p1 into n jesur is writing p1 into n somebody is writing p1 by 2 devidas abhay is writing p1 into n correct see in the previous case also i told 1 by 255 something uh, 256 255 by 256 how many times it will occur when i throw i use that uh, particular i generate that symbol 256 times how many i'll get a and how many i'll get b i ask that question there also use your common sense 1 by 256 255 by 256 into 256 will do it so the answers are very simple n into p1 and second one is n into p2 so i hope all of you understood just copy it on this use your common sense to understand that let us go to the next now instead of two symbol what i'm doing i'm taking a more symbol how many symbols i'm taking sq what is the value of q sir it may be 5 6 7 8 some number r and probabilities are p1 p2 pq means s1 probability p1 hai s2 ka probability p2 hai s3 ka p3 hai sq ka pq hai now let us consider a long independent sequence of length l symbol total l symbols i am considering now this long sequence then contains you should tell answer perfectly now p1 l number of messages of type s1 will be there similarly p2 into l number of messages type s2 will be there similarly last pq into l number of messages of type sq will be there just copy down and try to understand this you have one minute try to copy down There, in the previous case, I took a N. Now I am taking L. That is the only difference. Now I am taking L as a length. There, N symbols I was taking. That's all. The same concept I am using here also. And uh, P1 into L number of messages of type S1. P2 into L number of messages of type S2 I will get. Like that up to PQ into L number of messages of type SQ. Yeah, another few seconds you have try to copy down and try to understand Now let us go to the next slide. We know that the self information of a S1 is given by all of us uh, discussed already in the previous class log 1 by P1 bits. 
if i have a five s1 symbols then what is the total information there are two methods what you can do add all the five information or simply multiply i1 into 5 both are same for example what is the value 5 into 5 i'll get 25 if i add 5 five times also i'll get 25 both are same now s1 probability is p1 and information is i1 i have the total s1 symbols in the sequence i have p1 into l so therefore p1 into l number of messages s1 contains simply i'll multiply p1 into l information is log 1 by p1 bits just copy down this and try to understand it's very simple this is like a probability i had this is a total what i have count and this is a information so like a i am multiplying i told about uh, only now considering a p1 let us go to the next similarly i can write for p2 similarly i can write for p3 up to pq i can write the same steps you repeat up to last is uh, pq l therefore the total self information contained of all these messages message symbols is given by simply i will add i total equal to p1 into l log of 1 by p1 p2 into l log of 1 by p2 plus plus up to pq l into log 1 by pq bits then in this l is common i'll take outside L summation i equal to one to q pi log one by pi bits I can write. Average self information is given by i total divided by l. So total l are there. So therefore I'll rewrite. I'll get i equal to or total uh, entropy equal to when I take average it's called as entropy. Entropy equal to summation i equal to one to q pi log one by pi bits per message symbol just copy down this and try to understand and attendance i am noting so those who are not coming regularly so please inform them attendance i'll take a print out i'll keep it and your email id us number all those information are there i'll uh, maintain the attendance in the excel only So throughout our discussion, now I know it. So remember, uh, h of s we use h of s equal to p i log one by p i. This you have to remember because we are going to use this. Go to the next slide. The source entropy can be interpreted as follows. Just read it. 
on the average we can expect a hfs bits of information per symbol in the long messages from the information source even though we cannot say in advance what symbol sequences will occur in these messages we'll get information in general per symbol but we'll not get which symbol that idea we won't get thus hfs represents what average uncertainty average amount of surprise so in the problems he will ask you to find out hfs or sometimes he may use a another word average uncertainty or he may ask you to find a average amount of surprise all are same these words you have to remember just read it once completely sometimes they say entropy sometimes they ask you to find out a hfs they ask you to find out average uncertainty or sometimes they ask you to find average amount of surprise all are same and uh, equation just now you have taken pi log 1 by pi is the equation you have to remember so far we have discussed introduction to the subject block diagram of a digital communication probability set operations and venn diagram conditional probability had discussed chain rule and one problem and now we have discussed a major of information just try to go through your notes a uh, few more seconds i'll give just go through block diagram probability set operations conditional probability chain rule measure of information then we'll go to the next slide So these are the equations you have to remember. Information log one by pk base two have to take. So base ten if I take what I have to multiply. Type it in the chat box fast. If I take base ten, how much I have to multiply to get a base two? Very good, Varsha, Suhasini, Priya, Sumit, Vishwa. Very good, uh, Shripath. 3.322, not 3.22. Shilpa, Simran, correct. So one important which had point you had to remember. Next, 3.322. This is one. Most of the time students will forget that. Huh? That's why you had to take extra care to remember this. A zero memory source. If somebody is having a doubt, what is a zero memory source? We'll uh, try to clarify zero memory source. Anybody is having still doubt? A zero memory source. You can just say yes, sir. We'll give one example to them. Zero memory source means what? Yes, sir. Chaitra. She has a doubt. Good. Anybody? Yes, sir. Abhishek is having doubt. Good. Hmm. Only two students. Three. Gaurav. Haveri. Okay. Okay. No. One more example. Okay. Shilpa. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I'm sure. Uh, you people will understand again after this also i'll spend another one minute for you people the zero memory source means when i'm typing i'll remember what i had typed when monkey is typing do you think it will remember what it has typed previously the next key what it is pressing never depends on the previous key So this is the simplest example for a zero memory source. Or if you don't want this example, take that dice. You are throwing the dice. What I will get now? It never depends on the previous event. What I got means it doesn't remember that previously. Kya hai ta? Us par nirbhar nahi rehta. Simply I'll get a either all or equal probable again. So this is a best example for zero memory source. and many students will get better idea when you go for with memory the next chapter after some time we go to the with memory when they understand with memory automatically they will understand zero memory so let us go to the next slide information is not data data is how the information is represented whereas information is what is represented in that data is called as information most of the time students will use uh, these two words so you, they should know now 
Take a simple example to find a entropy. Let us consider a binary source with a source alphabet S1 and S2 with the probability is 1 by 256, 250 by 256, find the entropy. Copy down this, try to find the entropy. All of you know how to find the entropy. Equation just now you have copied. PI log 1 by PI. I want you people to use your calculator, find the answer, type your answer in the chat box. Use a calculator. How to find out? All of you know the equation previously I discussed. Use the same equation. But remember, you are taking a log, but base 2. If you take a base 10, you should know what to multiply. S3, S4, probabilities are 7 by 16, 9 by 16. Find the entropy. Use the same equation. Pi log 1 by Pi. Okay. Answers. Entropy is given by 7 by 16 log 16 by 7 plus 9 by 16 log 16 by 9. Okay, Vijay Lakshmi, Malikarjun, they have typed. Shilpa, okay, 0 0.9866. Shilpa has typed the answer. We will see other uh, students what answer they are typing. 0.9988 Bharat Kulkarni. Okay, another few seconds we will wait, we will see. Prithviraj 0.978. Most of the students are getting the same answer. 0.9899857. Okay. In this case, it is hard to guess whether S3 or S4 is transmitted. We will see another, when this H of S will be maximum, we will see it. Another one example we will solve, so that we will come to know when the H will be, entropy will be maximum. That we are going to conclude after the another one such example. So let us go to the next. I have two symbols and the probabilities are 1 by 2, 1 by 2. S5 probability 1 by 2 and S6 probability is 1 by 2. Now can you find the entropy? Very good. Rahul Raj told the answer. 1. Very good. Sripath told the answer. Simran, Vinit, Abhay, Shilpa, what about others, fast, do it fast, don't sit idle, use calculator, do it, Spurti is telling one, Siddharth, Charan, Janavi, yeah, good. So you will get a 1 bit per message symbol. Now read this. In this case the uncertainty is maximum. If H is more, uncertainty is more for a binary source and becomes impossible to guess which symbol is transmitted because both probabilities are same. Remember H will be highest when the probabilities are equal. This is one important point which you have to observe from this. Copy down this last one line. Take a few seconds and do it. In this case, the uncertainty is maximum for a binary source and becomes impossible to guess 
which symbol is transmitted let us go to the next this readers suppose symbols are emitted by the source a reader suppose symbols are emitted by a source at a fixed time rate rs so many symbols per second the average source information rate is rs this is a capital rs this is small rs read twice the average source information rate is rs how many symbols it is transmitting per second it is a lower rs and this is in the symbols per second it is in the bits per second is defined as the product of the average information contained per symbol and message symbol rate rs what we'll do we'll take one example we'll solve a one problem uh, to calculate the information rate that time it will be more clear now either read this or if you want just copy down one or two words from this at least you copy down that information rate so that uh, when we see the problem so you'll understand better instead of reading a uh, lines it takes more time to understand when you solve a problem you'll understand better when you see the definition of entropy you may not understand how to find the entropy you have understood and entropy is maximum when uh, probabilities are equal when entropy is highest uncertainty is more these are the conclusion you have to make let us go to the next so this is in symbols per second this is in bits per second therefore this line no doubt the symbols per second is given by uh, bits per second is given by symbols per second into whatever the h of s we have calculated uh, one or two problems we'll discuss it is also called as bps uh, bits per second okay i'll uh, one minute stop sharing and now in between i'll go back okay one minute maybe network problem one minute i'll try to present again hello maybe network problem wait for a minute one minute i have some network problem i'm trying entropy find out the entropy s1 probability is 1 by 2 s2 probability is 1 by 4 s3 probability is 1 by 4 self information i have to find out for each message find the entropy of a source s anybody got the answer okay okay ha uh, answer is correct 1.5 yes 1.5 is correct so now i think uh, it's 12 you have a class now 1230 yes or no do you have class now otherwise we will take this problem and we'll wind up copy down this fast we'll wind up the class the collective voltage of a certain circuit i'll dictate also the collective voltage of a certain circuit is to lie in between 
the collective voltage of a certain circuit is to lie in between minus 5 to minus 12 volts minus 5 to minus 12 volts okay you copy down this the voltage can take on only these values the voltage can take on only these values minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 9 minus 11 minus 12 I repeat minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 9 minus 11 minus 12 volts with respective probabilities with respective probabilities 1 by 6 1 by 3 1 by 12 1 more 1 by 12 1 by 6 1 more 1 by 1 by 6 I repeat the probabilities 1 by 6, 1 by 3, 1 by 12, 1 more 1 by 12, 1 by 6, 1 more 1 by 6. The voltage is recorded with a pen recorder. The voltage is recorded with a pen recorder. Determine the average self information. Determine the average self information associated with the record in terms of bits per level determine the average self information associated with the record in terms of bits per level now note down the probabilities write down we know that entropy is given by summation 1 to q pi log 1 by pi probabilities are given simply fill the probabilities find out the h of s Simon 10 2.4 Shilpa Shripad Adnya Varsha Okay, answers are 2.42 Let me check how much I got So simply write down 1 by 6 log 6 1 by 3 log 3 1 by 12 log 12 plus 1 by 12 log 12 2.41 Amrita Okay, correct Geeta 2.42 Jai Surya And Prithviraj Shruti H of S equal to I got 2.418 I got maybe 0.1 variation may be there 2.418 correct so Hasini, Rohit, Malikarjun, Vishwa so answer is correct this is the way how you have to find out and in the problem don't worry what they are measuring sometimes they want to confuse you people I want only the probability remaining let it be anything ok so remember now you have to write bits per level what you have written just see it instead of symbol no? but right level because they are talking about a level in the problem statement so take this as a homework and we'll wind up now find the relation between Hartley's Nats and bits So we'll uh, conclude now and uh, next class will continue tomorrow and please uh, have a pencil, eraser and uh, have a calculator tomorrow. You should have better to have a pencil, eraser and one uh, definitely should have a calculator for all most of the classes. Okay, any doubts if you have you can type, we'll try to spend uh, one or two minutes, otherwise we'll conclude, we'll continue the next class. And uh, uh, CRs, you can create a one group uh, email ID. I think B Division yesterday, I told them they did it. Uh, any one CR, any one representative, you create a, a group email ID for your class. If you don't know, you can talk to the other division student. 
and it is uh, available uh, i think even in the google also try to create only one uh, email id group id so that uh, when i send one email it should reach all the 70 students okay so now we'll conclude if you have any doubts you can